Instructions for collecting PFAS samples for drinking water systems. What are you going to learn? Review the contents of the sample kit. Preparing to collect your samples. Collecting the fill blanks. Collecting the finished water samples. Preparing the samples for shipment. Important reminder, to avoid potential sample contamination, please avoid handling food packaging, such as popcorn bags, pizza boxes, and fast food wrappers prior to collecting your samples. Please don't wear any stain or water resistant clothing. If you are sampling outside, do not sample if it's raining to avoid possible contamination from rainwater running off your rain gear. Please also avoid using permanent markers. Ballpoint pens and or pencils are acceptable. Step one, review the contents of the sample kit. Familiarize yourself with the contents of the sample kit without removing any sample bottles. It should contain the following. The chain of custody form. A bag containing nitro gloves. An empty resealable plastic bag. One resealable plastic bag containing six empty sample bottles with preservative. First resealable plastic bag containing a fill blank bottle with PFOS free water and an empty fill blank bottle with preservative. A second resealable plastic bag containing a second set of fill blank bottles. And a prepaid mailing label which is not shown. If you are missing any item, please call the EPD lab. Step 2. Preparing to collect your samples. Before you begin, if you are using a faucet or a tap, remove any plastic tubing that may be attached. Remove the aerator and screen. All this done before you begin collecting your samples. Open the tap and let the water run at fast flow for approximately 5 minutes. After 5 minutes have passed, slow the water flow to the thickness of a pencil to minimize splashing. If possible, two people should conduct the sample. Wash your hands before sampling and let them air dry. Wear the powderless nitro gloves which were included in the sample kit during sampling and when you handle the samples. Both people need to be wearing gloves. One person referred to as clean hands will be handling the sample bottles. This is the only thing they will touch. They will not put their hands inside the resealable plastic bag. The other person referred to as dirty hands will open and close the resealable plastic bag, which they will not put down during the sampling procedure. PFOS can be found in many consumer goods, which increases the possibility of field contamination and false positive results. Because of this, Georgia EPD is requiring a field blank be collected at each location where the finished water will be sampled. Step 3. Collecting the field blanks. You will complete this step in the place where you will be collecting the finished water samples. And before you collect any finished water, please remember to leave all the bags in the cooler until needed. Dirty Hands removes one of the plastic bags containing filled blank bottles from the cooler. Without touching the bottles, Dirty Hands will move the sample bottles to the opening using the outside of the plastic bag. Clean Hands will remove a full filled blank bottle from the plastic bag by touching only the cap of the bottle. They will remove the cap from the filled blank bottle filled with water. This cap may be placed on the counter. Dirty hands will then move the empty filled blank bottle to the opening. Clean hands will remove the cap and keep the cap in their hand while they pour. The full filled blank bottle into the empty filled blank bottle being held by dirty hands. Clean hands will replace the cap on the filled blank bottle. Then remove the newly filled bottle from the plastic bag and mix the preservative with the filled blank water by inverting the bottle at least five times. As Dirty Hands is holding the resealable plastic bag open, Clean Hands will drop all the cap filled blank bottles back into the resealable plastic bag they came in. Dirty Hands will seal the plastic bag. This same procedure will be repeated with the second set of filled blank bottles. Be very careful during sample collection. 
Any detections in the sample will require an analysis of the field blank. If there are any detections in the field blank, Georgia EPD will require additional sampling. Step 4. Collecting the finished water samples. Dirty hands will remove the resealable plastic bag with empty sample bottles from the cooler. They will open the bag and using the outside of the bag. They will move a sample bottle to the bag opening. Clean hands will remove the sample bottle from the bag by touching the cap only. Then they will take off the cap and fill the bottle up to the bottom of the neck, taking care not to flush out the preservatives and making sure the mouth of the bottle does not come in contact with anything other than the sample water. Clean hands will then cap the bottle and invert it at least five times to mix the sample with the preservative. As Dirty Hands is holding the resealable plastic bag open, Clean Hands will drop the cap sample bottle back into the resealable plastic bag it came in. Collect samples for the other five sample bottles by repeating these procedures for each sample bottle. Dirty Hands will then seal the plastic bag. Step 5. Preparing the samples for shipment back to the EPD lab. Confirm that all the sample bottles have been returned to the resealable plastic bags. Fill out the chain of custody form with date and time of sample collection and the name of the person who collected the samples. Remember, do not use a permanent marker. If samples are collected during warm weather, refrigerate the samples in the resealable plastic bags overnight. The next morning, place the resealable plastic bags with all the sample bottles in the cooler. Add ice to the large resealable bag in the cooler and make sure the ice covers the sample bottle bags. The ice should not touch the sample bottles. Place the completed chain of custody form in a plastic bag in the cooler. Close the cooler, place the prepaid mailing label on the cooler, and send the sample kit back to the lab using overnight shipping. Do not ship the sample kit on Friday. Georgia EPD thanks you for participating in this water sampling program.